everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking to you about my favourite drugstore concealers. I think I have got about six or seven. Um, I was trying to narrow them down to five, but I couldn't. So anyway, um, yeah, let's get on with the video. Now these are not in any order whatsoever. So um, yeah, I'm literally just picking them up randomly and showing you. So the first one I want to share with you is this one from Maybelline. Um, this one is an all-round um, concealer. And I say this because I actually use this quite a lot, nearly, I think I use it every single day, um, especially for work. So you can literally just draw this on all over your face. I just use it sometimes in the middle of my face and just dab it with a concealer, with a sponge or a blush. And you're good to go the color i use is 01 light they have come up with new colors so that's definitely worth checking out um it literally i think it's quite self-explanatory because people have used this so so much it has a sponge tip and then you can just either use this tip to blend it i really wouldn't some people find this unhygienic but i just think it's not unhygienic if it's only you using it. The next one I want to mention is um, this one from Makeup Revolution. Um, sorry, it's very grubby, very disgusting. This I've heard is a dupe for the sh tart shape tape um, because it has a very similar one. So it's like a really, really fat and really, really um, big applicator. Um, it is. It has a distinct smell to it, but it's not that bad. Slightly plasticky this one actually is very very thick it's very high coverage I don't think you can use this all over the face to be honest I use it under my eyes I do have quite dark circles so whenever I do use this I only use it around this area and then blend it out and then build it if I need to um, the color I have is C3 again they do have lots of colors the next one I want to mention is one that I've been using for years and I've just bought on YouTube and this is from Collection. Now I remember this was called something else, I think it's called Collection 2000, well I think that's another one. Um, this concealer, this is actually a new one, I use the colour Fair One. This concealer is amazing because the amount of coverage and the kind of quality that you get from such a cheap concealer is absolutely amazing. It is definitely the, one of their best selling ones and it's very creamy, it's, it's not very thick and not very runny, it's some, something in the middle. You can absolutely use this um, all over your face. I use it in, again in my T-zone and, not my T-zone, sorry, in the middle of my face and blend it out as, as I like. Um, it does. It says it has 16 hour wear. I haven't worn it for 16 hours, I think, but I have worn it for about 10 to 12 hours, and it does definitely stay. Doesn't budge. Doesn't crease. It is very slim and very small, so you can easily put it in your bag. Um, they have changed the um, packing of this, packaging of this. So the tube is now like a, it's like a more matte, misty tube instead of the shiny one they used to have. And if I'm not wrong, have they? made this smaller i always remember this had being slightly longer so maybe it was like thinner and longer now it's short and a bit thick like a bit stubby but anyway this is yeah um it's a firm favorite to for a lot of people and also i think it's the cheapest out of all the ones that i am going to mention today the next one is again very very popular this is the fit me from Maybelline they have the fit me range is absolutely amazing especially for their concealers and their um, powders I actually have two colors in this um, this one is 20 um, I do use a color 10 as well um, usually with 20 I use this like around my face as well because it blends in really nice in it's not like super super light the 10 one is quite light, so if I'm doing like a bit of highlight, you know, a bit of highlight on my, in my under eye, then I use the number 10. But usually 20 is a perfect match. Again, this one, um, you can absolutely use this around the face. You can use it in the, your, in the middle of your face. Um, if you set it properly, it does not crease. And it's not a very thick mascara, uh, it's not a very thick concealer, 
but it does blend out very very nicely gives a good coverage um, I wouldn't say it's a full coverage I would say it's a medium coverage but it's really really good the next one I want to mention is uh, I think one of the lightest ones that I have and I'm running out of it so um, it's this one from Rimmel so this is a Rimmel breathable concealer lasting finish 25 hour breathable concealer the color I have is 100 fair um, it has a very unusual um, sponge tip over there sorry my my one is really really grubby and really disgusting if you can see that lid um, but this is my literally go to if I don't know what to wear under my eyes on a regular basis like to go to work and stuff then this is definitely what I will um, gravitate towards um, I also love their foundation which is in the same finish this one is very light um, you can definitely layer it up and it doesn't crease because it's very very thin it's not it's not runny but it's thinner than the other ones that I have mentioned in uh, so far so with this one um, you can literally either squeeze them out you can either use the same tip to like a, uh, to draw around your eyes and then blend it out or you can just take it in your on your fingers or just dab it across and then obviously just blend it in but um, this one actually is really easy to carry I'm not really sure what's going to happen when I completely use this up because I have I think I have used quite a lot of, a lot of it up but I think there's some still left over here um, in terms of coverage it says it's lightweight and medium it is definitely lightweight I wouldn't call it medium coverage I think it would be like a light to medium coverage uh, because it's buildable you can absolutely do a medium coverage full coverage definitely not and this is all I have for today. Please do let me know if you liked it. Give this a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.